That's the latest from the Rockets off their album, Come On and Dance. The album just came out last week. That's their latest single, All of the Time. Joining us on the broadcast right now for the very first time, because the song made its world broadcast debut here with us in Hawaii, we've got Jeremy Keith and Camden from the Rockets. How you guys doing? Doing well. Good, thanks. Good, thank you. How did the song All of the Time come about? We needed a single for the album, so we just wanted to come up with something that had the early 60s feel, catchy melodies, but could also sound poppy enough to sit alongside other modern songs. So how long did it take to write this? It was probably written in a couple hour sessions over the course of a few days. Definitely has an urgency about it, so you got that retro feel hands down. <laughs> Now, have you guys had a Thank chance you. to perform this live in front of anybody? No, we Not haven't done COVID. any shows. So everything's just been online for you in, in terms of exposing your music. Yeah, we played some shows early on, but uh, since writing the material for this album, we haven't really been able to play any live shows. So Camden, how did you get your start? How old were you when music grabbed your attention? I took piano like as a kid, 10 years old and stuff like that in high school started playing guitar and drums and those are like the two that i've been most interested in ever since pretty much the rockets needed a drummer last fall that's how i entered the band there and how about you keith i was raised in a very musical family i always wanted to express myself musically uh, i started playing guitar when i was about nine or ten and i soon transitioned to bass and i still play guitar as well but music has always been a passion for me and i like to play and express myself that way how did your entrance into the band happen i was looking for musicians in my area just to play the kind of music that I liked. I found that the music that I liked, it was hard to find people that I could jam with. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. Yeah. So I found uh, Jeremy through an online band meeting app, I guess you would call it. And we started jamming together about two years ago, or a year and a half ago, I guess. Jeremy, what influenced the name of the band? We wanted a name that echoed the all those 60 bands with the Y like bands like The Birds. Now, have you had Works problems? Works well with the logo, too. Oh, with the logo. But if someone hasn't seen the logo, like they're searching for you online, they're just going to type in Rockets the regular way. And like, I can't find these guys. It's like, oh, you got to <laughs> use a Y. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool how you guys did that. Now, what was it like for you to record the album? How long did it take you? It took us two days. We're from Ottawa, Canada, and we went to a studio in Toronto because that was the nicest one we could find in Canada. We did it with a mix of classic techniques, but also some modern techniques to give it the classic style, but also sound modern. So you're actually kind of, we're in the early Beatles spirit. Let's do this album in one day, but you did it in two. Yeah. That's exactly it. That's right. <laughs> now, how did the song Break My Heart Again, how did that come about? That came about to write a song around a riff that had power to it and that had really thick harmonies. And it was kind of built around those ideas. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and take a listen to it right now. The Rockets with band members Jeremy, Keith, and Camden. They're hanging out with us. Crank your radio up. You're going to love this. Break my heart again on the time machine. On Manao Radio, KMNO, 91.7 FM. Don't break my heart again. Don't break my heart again. Baby, don't you love me like you used to? Baby, not again, no one. Don't break my heart again Don't break my heart 
music's on as much more music. The Time Machine. Title track from the brand new album from the Rockets, Come On and Dance. Love that song. It really gets the toes tapping. I can't stop the head bopping. I'm doing nothing but air guitar and air drums in the studio. That must have been fun for you to record this album. Yeah, it was, it was a blast. Fun. I mean, obviously you had to take a seriousness to your craft to get in there, but still. I mean, you must have had some giggle sessions if one of you made a mistake, even though, hey, money's on the line, but hey, you made a mistake. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. there were some funny times that on one of the songs, Espresso, we were recording an actual espresso machine in the studio for the intro. <laughs> You'd be surprised with the logistics we had to deal with. So, Camden, what what do you do outside of music to pass the time? What floats your boat outside of music? I guess it would mainly be uh, biking and skateboarding. It keeps me occupied during the day. But you still hear music in your head when you're doing both of those, don't you? Of course. It's always going. And so, of course, you still got school going on. Is that the same case for you, Keith? Yeah, we're both going to university. It's online this semester, though, because of everything that's going on. How difficult is that for you as a student? I'm out of school. I've been watching the news for six months. I don't know how I would have done it. Well, I'll say um, labs have been incredibly difficult from home. That's the worst part for me. Labs are usually the longest kind of courses in universities, right? They are, and often you require maybe a little bit of help from a teaching assistant, you know, in person. It's just like there's something missing for sure. But, you know, you make it work. How about you, Jeremy? What's going on for you? What do you like outside of the music world? My main thing is music. I also like biking, being outside. Interesting that nobody's mentioned, like, movies or sketching or... But so biking and hiking, the outside world is what floats the band. We like the outdoors, (laughs) yeah. The great outdoors. So do you think that one of your first real live performances for an audience will actually be outside just to be in a safe, socially distanced kind of scenario? Most probably our first first shows before all of this were actually also outside. One we played as a pregame show for a baseball team here. Wow. How was the response? We like to play outside shows because we feel it distinguishes us from other bands a little bit. Now, when you're outside, you get to play to a, a huge crowd because a lot of venues in most cases are, what, 21 and over, especially in Canada? Yeah. That's right. So are you guys looking at doing some well-produced music videos for any of these songs? Yeah, we've recorded a video for our first single all the time, which we just did at the studio. But for our next video... We're looking to make it a bit more produced. Ah, sweet. So before I let you guys go, and I I do appreciate you taking the time to hang out with us and share a little bit about the band and yourselves, what can you tell us about the song, I Want to Be With You? What influenced this? (laughs) Bit of a I want to hold your hand type thing. So were you even bopping your heads in the studio and shaking your hair around like John, Paul, George, and Ringo? (laughs) (laughs) Something like that. Time was of the essence, though. I can believe it. Now, do you guys already have like a, a catalog of songs that you're waiting to put on a second album? I'm assuming that you went in there with more songs, or did you go in there with the exact songs and you recorded them in two days and you were done? We had planned for months and even a year before, so we had exactly what we were going to record and we practiced them every overdub that we were going to do and how we were going to 
pan them. That was all practice for five hours a day prior to the recording session. Wow. Well, the pressure's on for the sophomore album, but don't worry about it because we're going to have fun playing a lot of tracks off this album. It's such a pleasure to listen to from beginning to end. So uh, thank you again for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it, guys. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having us. And your website address for anyone to check out would be? TheRockets.com. The Rockets with a Y. Jeremy, Keith, and Camden, much aloha to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Aloha. aloha. Crank up your radio for I Want to Be With You on the Time Machine. Michael McCartney. The Time Machine. Michael McCartney.